Hey everyone, this is Grace Izzard and I'm joined with Michael Roberts and we're gonna be talking about Interaction Studio in Pardot today. Um, I am a senior solution engineer. I focus on our retail and consumer goods um, industry here at Salesforce and I've been with Pardot for over six years now. So really excited to show you about how our newest product in Pardot or in Salesforce integrates with Pardot and how we can use that. And I'm Michael Roberts. I'm a principal solution engineer here at Salesforce, uh, focusing on our health and life sciences um, vertical. Uh, and uh, as Grace said, we are both considered, I guess, part of OG uh, here at Salesforce. Um, and we're really excited about how actually part of fits into the broader marketing cloud portfolio, um, particularly richer personalization by leveraging Interaction Studio. But before we get into it, of course, most of you already know this, but trust is our number one key value here at Salesforce. And so it is important that you make any purchasing decisions based on currently available functionality. Now, as Grace said, we've both been with the Pardot team for a long time. And so we've spoken with lots of customers. I started my career in Sydney and I'm now based in Chicago. And here are some of the common gripes that we hear from customers. You know, Pardot can't personalize the experience of unknown prospects which is particularly becoming really important in the world of ABM. Uh, wanting to personalize emails and landing pages with more rich information. Uh, the, the, the perennial problem of having out of date content by the time an email is actually opened by its recipients. And then how do we best guide our sales reps uh, to the next best action? How do we keep our sales and marketing team in lockstep, making sure that we're driving consistently our uh, target accounts towards specific offers and promotions? Well, the feedback you've told, you've given us as our customers is that the ABM targeted tailored approach is outperforming anything else you're doing from a marketing perspective today. But actually a third of you are telling us that creating those personalized experiences is your biggest barrier to effectively running those campaigns. So Grace and myself are really thrilled to share with you how we can supercharge those ABM experiences by leveraging Interaction Studio, which is a separate product with inside the Salesforce Marketing Cloud portfolio in three ways. Firstly, by building targeted ABM experiences. Secondly, by providing content uh, that, and recommendations that can be leveraged anywhere, whether inside of marketing content or driving sales rep behavior with inside sales and service cloud. And then thirdly, by changing content dynamically and basing that at the time of open. Right, and specifically looking at account information to be able to make sure that we're able to do that effectively. Let's go into these three areas in more detail. Firstly, looking at website personalization, we can start to leverage reverse IP lookup to understand customers from specific target accounts, even if they're unknown to you today with inside of Pardot. And this can be used to create what you would probably call dynamic content but targeted offers on your website and they can be deployed anywhere using a responsive design, whether it be a hero image on your homepage, maybe it's inside of a part of a landing page, an email, or even in some of your sales reps might be using with inside Salesforce Engage. This account intent data is tied directly to the account record. So of course you can plug in all your account-based marketing tools into that. Uh, and it's also connected with the lead and contact record with inside of sales and service cloud. Secondly, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about leveraging part of data with deeper intent with Insight Interaction Studio. We can provide specific calls to action with a focus on the buying persona and their stage of the buyer's journey. This target approach helps us to drive higher conversion. And your sales reps are going to be able to leverage these content recommendations and enable them to execute on this. And then thirdly, Interaction Studio makes a decision at a time of email open or when a website is pulled up to be able to choose what content to display. So imagine that, not just looking at content, which is designed when you create it within sort of Pardot, but actually making a decision based on account data at the time of when your customer opens that email, what content to provide to them. And we're able to leverage all that data that we have around what we call their intent and affinity data with inside Interaction Studio as well as their account information and the engagement history from Pardot to be able to make those decisions within kind of 10th of a second. So some of you might be wondering, how on earth do we choose what content to actually display with inside of these emails and landing pages? Well, of course, Einstein, right? We look at factors such as someone's interest, 
which is what Interaction Studio calls their affinity, their most recent engagement, the saturation rate, and of course, the data that comes through from the account level to make those recommendations. But hang on, some of you might be wondering, where does Engagement Studio fit into all this? Well, on the left-hand side, you can see that Interaction Studio is focused on the specific customer. It's able to provide that real-time reactive personalization. We can provide those next best offers to sales reps. And it really makes a decision within inside the orchestration that happens to be able to determine the right type of content. The reporting that we see with Insight Interactive Studio is really focused on behavioral. So making a decision and understanding what particular offers is most likely going to be resonating with someone in particular. And of course, we can extend that to unknown and known consumers and prospects. On the right hand side, most of you know and love Engagement Studio. It's more focused on your brand that you're sending out. And we're sending out content to proactively drive customers to engage. Of course, there's very really deep sales visibility of that directly back into Sales and Service Cloud. And then our reporting is less around someone's decisions and content, but more around drawing those particular touch points back to multi-touch attribution and then also campaign ROI. And engagement studio connects with known prospects and consumers. So I think we want to really focus today that both these engines work in parallel together. Interaction studio determining that personalization and the content that you might be surfacing with inside an email, landing page, website, whatever. And interaction studio is and sorry, and engagement studio is still how you're sending out that content today. So I realize this is a brand new concept for some of you. If you've got questions, Grace is going to be monitoring that chat thread today. Uh, so as we go through this, uh, feel free to pop those questions into that thread and we'll make sure that we reply to them there as much as we can. But of course, the best way to do that is to show you a demo of what this looks like in action. And so I'm going to pass across to Grace now to walk through what a demonstration of this looks like. Over to you, Grace. Hi, everyone. My name is Grace Izzard, and today I'll be showing you how Salesforce empowers marketers to generate more leads, engage with prospects, and understand each step from click to close. We'll be covering Pardot, as well as Salesforce's real-time personalization tool, Interaction Studio. We'll be going through a few personas today, including the customer Rachel, Marcus, Lennoxoft's AE, and Megan, Lennoxoft's Director of Marketing. To begin, we'll start our day as Rachel, a Senior Analytics Specialist at Ohana, Inc., She's in the market for advanced reporting and analytics tools. Rachel's searching online for advanced reporting and BI tools for her team when she sees an ad for Lennoxoft advanced reporting and analytics tool. She clicks the ad and visits the Lennoxoft site. Lennoxoft added tags to the targeted ad content so that when Rachel clicked through, the website already has the context regarding her potential interest in advanced reporting and analytics. Right there on the homepage, she sees a personalized banner based on her inferred interest in Lennoxoft's analytics tools. Using account segments, affinities, and IP lookups, Interaction Studio is able to personalize the Lennoxoft website for every Ohana Inc. employee's experience, driving them towards the information that is most relevant to them. So you can see here, we have the advanced reporting and analytics, as well as the account information pulling in based off of Rachel's clicks. She decides to browse the site just a bit longer for more information and navigates to the advanced reporting and analytics product highlights page. Rachel is spending a lot of time on the website engaging with multiple pages and pieces of content. Let's step out of character for a second and let's take a peek under the hood to see how we're tracking her behavior. Even in this anonymous state, we're building a profile on Rachel around her geolocation, web views, time spent on certain pages, and engagement score based on her activity. This engagement score is completely configurable and Lennoxoft has already fine-tuned the model to drive conversion, enhance personalization, and detect marketing qualified leads. All of this rich information is used to drive Rachel toward a purchase using personalized content, next best action, and product recommendations. Back to Rachel, she's still on the website and has made it further on her customer journey to the pricing and packaging page. She thinks professional edition is right for her, but she needs to think about it. So she requests a free trial and moves on to her next meeting on the calendar. Again, let's step out of character for a second and take another look under the hood. Now that Rachel has identified herself, we can see Interaction Studio merged her previous unknown behavior with her known profile, and her engagement score has gone up. 
Here we see a timeline of our interactions with Linuxsoft and going back several days and weeks, profile details both from Sales Cloud and her web behavior. When Rachel completed the free trial request, it also kicked off a free trial nurture program that drives her towards a paid license. Now let's meet Marcus, a Linuxsoft sales rep aligned to target accounts. One of his target accounts is Ohana Inc. When Marcus dives into Ohana Inc. in Salesforce, he can see he has a net new lead, Rachel Morris, matching her to Ohana Inc. based on her phone number and email. He calls up Rachel to discuss her free trial, and they schedule a walkthrough for one week from today. Rachel seems very interested, so he converts her into a contact with Ohana Inc. Marcus is able to view total view of the activity on Ohana Inc., including engagement over time in the engagement history dashboard. Marcus can see that Rachel Morris is the most engaged individual from Ohana Inc. as we have identified and scored her behavior based on the form submission and other content engagement. Rachel has a high propensity to purchase, as we can see through this behavior score under Einstein scoring. So Marcus is able to leverage insights from Interaction Studio to consider what might be the next best step to help Rachel on her trial journey. He's able to action directly from these recommendations to send Rachel the right content to help her along her free trial to become a purchasing customer. So he can either send release notes, which we're suggesting, or send her to a customer webinar. All of these are accessible. Rachel is midway through her free trial. She's seen pricing. So let's reaffirm her decision to go with Linuxsoft by sending her a customer case study. Marcus has direct access to content created by the marketing team and can send a case study directly to Rachel with relevant content. The content of one of these blocks is being determined by Interaction Studio, servicing the best offer to Rachel at time of open. If I go into the preview tab and view this email as Rachel Morris, I can see that some of the content is being populated in real time by Interaction Studio using the attributes, recipes, and content recommendations to populate the content at a time of open for the best offer. We can go ahead and hit send on this email, which will appear it's coming from Marcus. Regardless of where the Ohana Inc. team members come from, email click or organic link landing on the site, all of the email Inc. contents are presented with personalized content and products. In this case, as we can see here, when Rachel goes back to the home page. She now is seeing case study content provided by Interaction Studio um, so that she has a seamless and unified customer experience across all digital touch points. Let's meet Megan. Megan is the Director of Marketing for Linuxsoft, and she oversees all marketing effort, including driving pipeline for sales, supporting sales and closing business, and forging tight partnerships with sales leadership. Let's see where Megan starts, which is creating an asset for the trial onboarding journey that Rachel and other customers are going down. Here we can see some of the related marketing assets in this campaign that have already been deployed like landing pages, forms, custom links, and emails, as well as we can see the engagement history of these campaign assets over time. We also see Einstein AI that informs us that a key landing page for this campaign isn't performing well, and Megan needs to reduce the overall trail drop-off rate. Megan is ready to jump into action, and Engagement Studio is her command and control center for creating personalized engagement programs for prospects and to build momentum within existing customers and accounts. Building a campaign in Engagement Studio is easy, and it's actually kind of fun. So Megan can use things like actions, like adding someone to a list or sending an email. She can look for triggers, whether someone has opened an email or filled out, as a, filled out a form as an example and she can use rules, evaluating whether she meets specific criteria, like if she has a certain score or grade or if she's a part of a Salesforce campaign. We're going to choose based off of engagement and rules, whether it's the right timing to send communications to a prospect like Rachel, while Interaction Studio is going to determine the content of that communication. Perhaps if someone clicks on the blog post, we'd like their rep to be notified and call them to learn more about their interest. We can do that here by creating on that create Salesforce task and sending information over to the sales rep so they know what they need to do when they come across a task. Here they know that because this person interacted with the blog post, that they need to call them and start a conversation to drive more conversation with that prospect so that they can check in on how they're actually using the trial and hopefully upsell them. 
The trial onboarding campaign looks great, but Megan wants to be sure it works as expected before Lennoxoft's launch. She can do this in Engagement Studio testing. Megan can see what will happen to prospects as they move through the journey to see if there are any dead ends. This way, she always knows that her campaign is going to be a success. This campaign looks great, so let's go ahead and put it into market. As the program runs, Megan can keep track of the performance of the program right in the UI and can easily report on the metrics and success of the program to see if there are steps that need to be reconfigured for better performance. Engagement Studio gives her a clear view into the success of the campaign, so she's always in the loop with how it's doing. So let's fast forward in our conversation. And great news, thanks to Marcus's hand-holding efforts and Megan's onboarding journey, they were able to convert Ohana, Inc., and other top accounts into Lennoxoft Analytics customers. Megan really wants to understand the impact of the various account-based marketing programs measuring against the revenue received by Lennoxoft. This dashboard helps us to understand every single part of the marketing journey and add influence based on whether the focus is on lead generation, each touch, touch point throughout the funnel, or closing deals. You can also drill into the Ohana account to understand the marketing touch point specific to this account. All right. Isn't that awesome that that demo uh, that Grace shared with us to be able to look at how we can start to track those unknown individuals uh, and be able to personalize their experience to Rachel Morris, be able to drive someone through that entire journey and be able to use that information from interactions to you to personalize in the content on the website, but then also that Salesforce Engage email that Marcus sent out. Grace, what else, I guess, you know, you were the one who has been a big role in putting this demonstration together. I'm curious to hear, what are some of the other things that you think really deliver value to, I guess, um, you know, those pilot users who are uh, joining us today? Yeah, I personally think that the fact that you can get those next best actions is going to be key for your sales reps and just understanding what people are doing even pre the what they convert and the fact that it has like that AI in it is going to be really helpful for anyone who wants to be able to understand kind of what's going on with their business, even pre someone filling something out. So that, and then the fact that you can add that personalization, right. Um, without even knowing who they are. I mean, that's key, especially if you are going after certain companies and you want to display certain information, um, mm. it's, more robust than just the 25 dynamic content pieces that we have with Pardot. And so combining them together is going to be huge for customers that have a ton of need for that. And then also to think about, you know, a good example might be if you had a key influencer inside a, a deal from the account-based marketing perspective and you were struggling to get their engagement, so they were a part of a nurture program, but suddenly that information changed back onto their legal contact record, that's going to change the recommendation that we're able to surface with inside the email that gets sent out. And so I think the ability to make sure that the content that we're surfacing and the recommendations that we're doing is not just based on an email that, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm terrible at opening my email sometimes, but actually looking at that time of open around what content really is going to resonate with someone and be able to make a decision right in that second, I think is really, really powerful as well. Very. Are there any questions? I know you've been busy watching the chat there while I've been presenting at this end. Any, anything come to mind that our, the, our Pardashians who are on the line have questions? If you have questions, feel free to pop that in the chat box uh, and Grace and I will be able to have a few minutes now to respond to them. Uh, and we'll give you a moment after this as well to continue to chat through this. So one question from Reagan was, do you need marketing cloud licenses for Interaction Studio? And so Interaction Studio is its own SKU in marketing cloud. It is a marketing cloud type product. Um, so you will need to purchase that in order to be able to use it with Pardot. Um, but the two work together very well and they both integrate into sales cloud, which is really helpful. Um, what you'll see in, is that moving forward, the idea for Pardot and for Marketing Cloud and for Sales Cloud in general is that we are going to be able to hopefully combine more and more products together. So you'll be able to utilize like all the great things that Marketing Cloud has to offer, all the great things that Pardot has to offer, and ideally kind of create your own marketing solution that's really going to kind of encompass everything that you need. Yeah. One thing to call it there, though, is some of our uh, people on the line might be thinking Marketing Cloud being the old exact target product. So you don't need to purchase exact target to be able to use Interaction Studio. If you already have Pardot today, you can add on Interaction Studio without having to invest in the entire, I guess, exact target solution as well. So Pardot, uh, Interaction Studio works alongside Pardot really nicely and really deploys in all those areas of content. 
Um, and one of the really exciting things as we went through this journey together is that we've included the part of product team as part of this journey with us. So they're also thinking about how we can start to integrate things like Interactive Studio more closely with our content management tools inside of Pardot in the future roadmap as well. Yeah, we've got a few more questions. Um, mm -hmm. One is, does Interaction Studio's next best offer integrate with Pardot Engage to show relevant offers? And yes, exactly. That's exactly what Interaction Studio will do is you can put basically that snippet of code into your Pardot email templates. And then based off of what that person is doing um, in Engage, it'll display basically the right information at the right time to the person opening. So your sales rep doesn't have to really necessarily even choose the right email. Um, if they've done certain interactions, then the marketing is going to show, show that information there. And just as well, as you demonstrated a moment ago, you can actually go into the preview tab to see as a sales rep, what particular offer is likely going to be surfaced if that individual opened that email straight away, right? Remembering that offer may change depending on when that email is open. Yep. And then we do have one question about cost, Michael. I know you and I are both part <laughs> of SEs and we're not necessarily the ones that are typically selling the actual working with cost and price. So not sure if you know that. I don't know the exact cost. Um, it, it probably depends on the number of people you're marketing to and also the number of recommendations and offers that we're providing. So every one of the, the metrics around how we price out Interaction Studio is the number of decisions that we're making in the back end about what, what offer to uh, service. So I really encourage you to follow up with your marketing cloud or part of account executive who can actually go through that uh, process in a bit more detail to help you understand this. Uh, and this is something that our solution engineers here at Salesforce can talk to and, and dig into in a little bit more detail. So if you are interested in finding out more, um, definitely I encourage you to continue chatting with your account executive. Awesome. It looks like that is the end of questions that we have. Does any, if anyone else has any questions, please feel free to chat them in. Ooh, I'm looking at, never mind. Um, haha, I missed the Q and A part. So Mike Coleman asked, um, if you have multiple page action journeys running, are there specific indicators to choose which journey to send them down? If a prospect is just browsing, they could be triggered to go down a lot of journeys. That's a great question uh, and, and a significant concern. I think a couple of things is, is you know, we are really, as if we, I showed you that slide before about engagement studio. Essentially, we can push data from Interaction Studio into Sales Cloud and use that for dynamic list with inside of Pardot as well. And so I think having a really orchestrated approach to, you know, making sure that your, your suppression lists are up to date, right, to be able to look at the number of X number of emails that someone is engaging in in a certain period of time to make sure that you're not saturating someone because we are still choosing to send out that content through Engagement Studio. But, engage, but Interaction Studio may decide to show less offers with inside that email uh, if that person is saturated, as I showed you with that Einstein decision-making engine before. So it, it's more about having a strategy, it's more of a strategy question than a product question about making sure that your suppression lists are up to date uh, and uh, leveraging the data that's coming through from Interaction Studio correctly. All right, so we're actually out of time, uh, but we will give you, a, 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 we'll give you some follow-up resources here. Firstly, uh, Interactive Studio Trailhead, encourage you to jump on to understand a little bit more about the product uh, and what it actually does. And of course, if you're interested in perhaps you're not a pilot customer today and uh, some of the things we showed you, probably old hand to some of you and new to, new to others, encourage you to look at the Einstein account-based marketing trailhead as well. And then of course, we can help you uh, with your account executive and the solution engineers who are aligned to your account to give you a little bit more of a hand to understand whether Interaction Studio is a good fit. Uh, but we just wanted to introduce the idea to you today. And Grace and I are gonna stick around in the account-based marketing lounge after this event if you're viewing live. We'd love you to join us, hang out in there for a bit and chat a little bit more. And then of course, there is the Pardot Dreaming keynote um, with uh, Neha, Meredith, and Andrea, with, with uh, Costow and Blitzer joining. What a star started event that's going to be, it's happening uh, in, a, in, a, in about 30 minutes' time. And then, of course, the DreamX session. Uh, and Sakante is also offering some great resources and trainings coming into 2021. So, with that, so thank you so much for joining us. We're really grateful for your time. And come and join us in the ABM Lounge or follow up with some of those resources on Trailhead or your account base or your account executive here at Salesforce. Enjoy the rest of Pod Dreaming, everyone. Have a great Thanks day. Thanks so much. Bye, y'all.